Hoi allemaal, it's me Debbie again, and today I'm going to show you how I organize my clear stems. So let's have a start. First of all, when I buy my stems, I uh, like to send them first because that will make it easier to stem. Save this, of course, always. So with a piece of uh, sending paper, I'm just sending uh, roughly over these stems. You can also use a sending block, of course. So after I've sent the images, I'm going to place them on my catalog sheet and this sheet will be put in my binder with my stamps when I'm finished. So let's do that. place them upside down so I can uh, place a block on it afterwards and uh, create a big stamp like that. Okay, so what I do next is I place one of my larger blocks on it. It's the widest I've got and I, I hope my head isn't in the picture. I place it on top of each and then I'll remove the stems that fall out of the block. So like that. And I put them aside. And I press them down for stamping. Okay, so when I press them all down, I get my memento ink out and I'll stamp them. You can use any other kind of ink, of course. But I like to use my memento black ink because it's the ink I use most. So, Okay, make sure everything is inked up. Yes, I think so. And then I stamp. Sorry, I'm going to be in picture for a sec. I yeah. And I press that. To make sure every little stamp is stamped out correctly. I remove. And I see this snowflake here. It's got a bit of residue left, so I'll pick this one up and I'll re-stamp it with a smaller block. And now I'm definitely going to be in picture because I need to be on top of it. Okay, so I'll make sure the design is lined up and I stamp and everything comes out well. Perfect enough for me. Then I like to rinse my stems with a baby wipe. And just put the block out to dry. Then I replace my leftover stems. And I'll get another block. Let's see. Yes, this will fit. So again, pick them up. Press them down. Ink up. And 
stems out. Perfect. Clean again. And let's go. So, on to the next step. Okay, stamped out everything and the next step is of course putting my stamps away. I like to use a CD case, a jewel case, of which I've removed the front and reassembled. And now I've got an open case. So let's put my stamps in here. And I know that with these sets I can fit uh, one set per side so I can fit in two. Um, set into the case, so that's perfect. So let's have a so the next step I do is I cut out the images from this sheet. So let's do that, and I've pre cut one before because. I wasn't sure I was going to do this tutorial, but then again I thought I should, so uh, I've cut out this one. And what I do with the cutout images is I've put on some repositional adhesive on not the side it's printed, but the shiny side. So here it's printed, you can see it's a bit matte, and this one is shiny shiny, so I put a bit on there, and I'll put it on the image I've stamped out. So let's do that for the other ones too. Okay, so that's that. On to the next step, and I like to use just some ordinary tape, of which I stick down. And because this is the back side, with I just go over the edge. Just I fit it to make sure it stays on. So that's it for part one, or should I say set one, and I'll just repeat this with the other set.
Okay, so the next step I'll do is I'll put a label on the inside of the CD case. And I use a strip of paper I've already cut out. Write down the title of the set. Or in this case, sets that are in there. And with some tape. I put directly onto the text the stick. and press down. Cut off the excess. And hope I can find the end. I removed the tape packing, so this one's sticky now, and I'll put it in the inside of the CD case and press. And now I've got a finished case with all my stamps in it. So I hope this was useful, and um, well, see you next time. Bye for now.